Ron Fors, Dan Thorne talked with one business owner who had her floral shop recently burglarized and then destroyed by a fire. Uh, he joins us now live in the newsroom with more on this. Some help for them, huh, Dan? That's right, Vicki and Grant. That floral shop had been operating here in the city for more than 80 years, and it was set on fire after a burglar took only eight bucks. The city's new grant program is designed to financially help businesses dealing with vandalism, but in some cases, it might not be enough. A once blooming floral shop in San Francisco's Sunset neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. The inside of the 87-year-old Frank's Floral was set on fire during the early morning hours of September 6th after someone broke in. Very heartbroken, very heartbroken. I don't think he realized this person, how devastating this was for me and for the community in San Francisco. Sona Pelavanian has run the business since the late 80s. It's been her passion as well as a neighborhood go-to for bouquets and other flower arrangements. Now, most of what's left is piles of charred debris. He didn't need to set the place on fire, really. It's just heartbreaking. Over the last year, other storefronts in the Sunset District have experienced destructive crimes as well. In February, shoe store Footprint fell victim to a burglar who busted in through the glass front door and stole clothing. Store owner Michael Shu was presented the first storefront vandalism relief grant on Wednesday by Mayor London Breed and Supervisor Gordon Marr. I do believe if we come together with the help of this grant for the stores that got vandalized, we'll be able to come out stronger and more united as a whole together. The new program offers up to $2,000 to help small businesses with any repairs related to deliberate destruction. This has been a very concerning um, and troubling trend that we've seen during the pandemic really impacting um, our neighborhood businesses that are that, that are the heart and soul you know, of, of, our, of our communities. Bringing back Frank's floral shop will take a lot more than $2,000, says Pelavanian, but a fundraising effort is so far coming through by pooling together more than $40,000 to help open back up. I thank them from the bottom of my heart, and um, I'll do my best to, to turn this for them one day. All this goodness. <laughs> Well, Pelavanian says that she'll make every effort to open back up, and she's hoping the city can also address what she feels are the root causes of these crimes, such as homelessness. As for small businesses interested in applying for the grant program, it's first come, first serve, and the money can also be used to help with not just repairs, but enhancing security measures like alarm systems or security gates. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dan Thorne, Cron4 News.